Be sure to subscribe to Did You Know and hit the bell so you never miss an upload from us. Also, leave a like right now. This man was splashing in the water and suddenly something huge appeared right in front of him. Can you guess what that enormous creature is? The main center of attention in our video this time is the Barefoot Bushman. Are you thinking about what kind of name is that? The Barefoot Bushman is a nickname given to a Southern Australian naturalist whose real name is Rob Bradell. Rob Bradell is famous for several daring and brave encounters with predators and wild animals. Why is he especially given that nickname? Because he's known for walking around without wearing shoes. Rob Bradell uses his knowledge about predators to make TV shows in which he introduces his audience to different kinds of wild animals. For instance, some of his documentaries are Deadly Predators and Killer Instinct. His fans are quite a lot of the reason behind that is a fact that his documentaries are translated into 36 languages to make it accessible for different viewers to keep updated with his shows. How brilliant! Brattle is not the only family member who's obsessed with wild animals, however. It runs in the family. The Barefoot Bushman's father, Joseph Brattle, was a snake specialist. He became famous for his excellent tactics in catching serpents to the extent that experts named Moriella Bradley or Brettles Python after him. Furthermore, he spent many years hunting crocodiles long before catching snakes, and his son seemed to have inherited his passion. Rob and his siblings joined their father during their childhood on his hunting missions. Not only that, but also Joseph Brattle had his own crocodile when Rob was nine years old. Imagine a nine year old having a crocodile as his pet. He was born to be fearless indeed. Rob and his father agreed on establishing a wildlife sanctuary. In other words, Rob owns the Blue Planet Wildlife Park alongside with his family who runs Brettle Wildlife Farm BWF. BWF is an Australian petting zoo where people can approach animals and enjoy a different experience. What's more, at the BWF, you can hug koalas, kiss deer, and approach baby crocodiles. The BWF is a safe zoo. All of the safety precautions are taken seriously. On the other hand, people are only permitted to watch adult crocodiles from a safe distance for they are dangerous and may attack the visitors. The visitors get the marvelous opportunity to watch the barefoot bushman feeding the crocodiles himself. Certainly everybody gets impressed and pleased with the show. These shows also go viral and people enjoy watching them from example the one featured on Viral Hog. This is how it all goes down during the crocodile show. Brettle stands at the side of the water and holds one of his hands under the surface of the unclear water. Consequently, people get surprised to realize that he's already holding something beyond their imagination. It's the tooth filled maw of an enormous crocodile. Then the barefoot bushman drops the snout and turns to the audience, saying, What I just did should have been impossible. Adding that what people have been watching on TV and have been told about crocodiles is quite true. Brettle goes on explaining to his audience why the crocodile did not react and the reason that crocodiles react to certain stimuli, for example, splashing. In order to prove his words, the bushman stamps on the ground near the crocodile in water and it does not react. Therefore, to get the crocodile's attention, the bushman gets a chicken carcass on the ground and puts it into the water. Obviously, the chicken starts splashing the water and in response, the huge crocodile captures the chicken and tears its head. The surprise was shocking. After luring the crocodile out, its real size made people speechless. It's massive and not only big, it could not even fit on the camera screens. What's more shocking is the fact that the Bushman wants to show his audience how much he trusts his crocodile and how his crocodile actually likes him and does not attack him. So the Bushman sits on the crocodile in absolute confidence, explaining that he's sitting in a safe spot on the reptile. This makes the reptile oblivious to the Bushman's presence while he's eating the chicken. Later on, Brettle explains to people that the crocodile's short legs are very strong and powerful that would enable him to move very fast. On saying this, the crocodile starts moving to turn back to the water while Brettle's still sitting on its back. Everybody's speechless and amazed with what they see in front of them. It's something unusual and definitely dangerous. In a YouTube video, the Bushman stresses that crocodiles are actually predictable indeed. However, on September 22, 2016, during a show, something new happened. The Bushman was feeding a 14-foot crocodile named Tripod and suddenly a piece of meat got stuck in its teeth, which left Brettle no other choice but to put his hand into the crocodile's mouth to get rid of it. He said that normally he would close the crocodile's eyes and use a stick to get out the stuck food. It was a huge risk for Brettle to put his hand into the reptile's mouth and the surprise was even bigger. The reptile crunched through the Bushman's hand and pulled him into the water. Brettle was interviewed in an Australian TV show 60 Minutes to talk about what happened because people were concerned. He continued that fortunately his nephew Zeb rescued him, 
but of course Brettel paid the price and he had a terrible injury in his leg Hence paramedics rushed to him and took him to the hospital where doctors did their best to save Brettel's limbs as he was diagnosed with severe lacerations Brettel claims that this mistake is a brain fart and that tripod did not do anything wrong Zeb believed that Brettel made a mistake and it was going to cost him his life the Bushman is recovering now from his injury that resulted from a life-threatening attempt Crocodiles are not to mess with, so you better watch out.